research and discovery. Futurists. Over the last 50, 60 years, there's been a lot of work on car safety. In recent decades, an important point was the introduction of safety belts in cars. Then there's the crumple zone. And of course, airbags. Research and development has to move towards the pre-crash phase. We have to do things to prevent accidents. Normal drivers, they don't do what we expect them to do. They do whatever they want. They eat hamburgers, they um, talk in the phone, or yeah, they do anything. We can see that in 90% of cases, or even more, the driver was guilty, responsible for the fact that an accident happened. So what do normal drivers really do behind the wheel? The answer may come during a Europe-wide study now underway. These drivers in Sweden are among the 1,000 people taking part in the European Union-backed Euro FOT project. The aim is to test out the latest generation of active safety systems, high-tech devices to help drivers avoid accidents before they happen. The volunteers are monitored every time they drive. There are six cameras in the car, but it's also filming the exterior. You filming the uh, in front of the car, uh, back, uh, the rear view, um, the hands, uh, the face, the feet. I've forgotten about it, so they, they will see me singing quite a lot, uh, because I usually, it is very loud music here. <laughs> Everything about the way the car is driven is downloaded by the engineers. Each car records about 700 megabytes of data per hour. Most of the volunteers' cars have several different active safety systems installed. On this car here we have forward collision warning system uh, with auto braking, so if the car comes too close the radar will signal. We have uh, the lane keeping uh, system here that helps the driver to keep in lane but also warns if the driver is um, sleepy or, or distracted. Uh, we have a bliss system here that uh, shows if the, there are uh, cars, approaching cars uh, in the blind spot here, blind spot detection system. Uh, and also uh, uh, distance alert which is uh, helping the driver to keep uh, appropriate safety distance here. Another real road and another real-life test for a new active safety system. The engineers driving along this quiet lane near Aachen in Germany are developing a new prototype as part of the Euro FOT project. The technology is called Curve Speed Warning. Now we can see a warning light on the dashboard. It tells us we have a right-hand bend coming up, which we can't see yet, but it already warns us that we should take this right-hand bend at a speed of 40 kilometers an hour. And now, this is the bend. The system aims to combine information from maps, GPS and even weather forecasts. At the moment, we're working on different aspects of the system. First, we're trying to understand how accurate the maps are in order to know how we should adapt our algorithms and our parameters, and then how we should react to the different road surfaces.
Millions of kilometers will be covered by the 1,000 volunteer drivers taking part in the project. The data about how they interact with the active safety systems will flow here to the SAFER Research Center at Chalmers University in Gothenburg. The information offers a unique insight. There's uh, uh, strange things that happen in traffic that you never know and you can't really plan for it as, a, as an engineer. And it's really interesting to see how these systems react in these unexpected situations. Trent's team will be looking for moments when the active safety systems are triggered to see if they help the driver stay out of trouble. The active safety systems are um, intended to help the drivers. So obviously drivers that are irritated with systems are not going to want to use them. So to be successful in selling these systems, they have to be de designed in the way that they like them, right? So that's also part of the, the interesting feedback that can be uh, given by this, this study. <laughs> it's early in the project and these drivers are still learning how it feels to be surrounded by a new range of alarms and warning lights. Some systems are popular, others less so. It's all valuable feedback. I know I'm right, I'm driving correctly, and still the car is trying to correct me in a way. If I do something wrong, I think it's okay that the car tries to correct me. But if I'm driving okay, I don't like to be corrected. Like now, if it sees that I'm not really following the road, it will warn me. I say, hello, maybe you need to rest, or maybe you need to get what you're doing. <laughs> in 2008, over 30,000 people were killed in road accidents in the European Union. That number is slowly coming down. The aim of this project is to demonstrate in scientific terms that active safety systems make a difference for real drivers on real roads. With the active safety systems, you can interfere in the system, in the driver's behavior. In most cases, that means braking. And by doing this, we assist the driver before an accident even happens. Stepping in to help before it's too late.